okay, 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 don't panic. Everything is gonna be just fine. If you thought things were bad before, well, they're actually worse. YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video and another video about an injury to one of Raven's key players. It's like, it's, it's just like nonstop, man, nonstop. Let's read the report from Jason LaConfora, which initially I was a little bit suspicious about because we know Jason LaConfora's track record, even though recently it's been a lot better than it used to be. But still, I was still a little hesitant. But then when Jeff Zrebic retweeted it, I said, OK. And actually, Jeff Zrebic was talking about it yesterday. And he said, anybody that watched Ronnie Stanley uh, this in this game against the Raiders, you could tell that something was off. Something was off. Uh, so, and in yesterday's injury report, Ronnie Stanley did not participate because he said it, it was said that he was dealing with an ankle injury. But anyway, let's read what Jason LaConfora had to say. He said the Ravens are preparing to be without all pro left tackle Ronnie Stanley. So that was enough right there. That, that, that was enough. That was all we needed to hear. That that was it. But it it it, it gets better. It gets better. Let's listen to this. So let's run it back. The Ravens are preparing to be without all pro left tackle Ronnie Stanley this week. So against the Chiefs, against this team, this powerhouse team that we just been struggling with for so long, man. We are getting ready to be without left tackle Ronnie Stanley. But get this. Watch this. Watch this. And possibly. Not possibly a little bit longer. Not possibly, oh, just a tiny bit longer. But he said, and possibly far longer as he undergoes more medical testing. Villanueva slides back to left tackle. His natural spot with Patrick McCarry next up at right tackle. Ooh, yikes. Offensive line was already under fire before this setback. So, Ronnie Stanley, <laughs> he could be out for a long time. Or he could be out for a short time. He said possibly. And you know, when, um, when reporters, when they use the word possibly, then that, that's just them covering themselves. But anyway, um, with Ronnie Stanley possibly being out well, him being out this week, okay, that, that's our, Jason Lillard looking forward, already confirmed that. But, and especially if it's even longer, this offensive line, and it was just one week. It was just one week, but they were bad. They were all kinds of bad. And they had Ronnie Stanley in the lineup. So now, what will the drop-off be? Because now, if you're going to switch Alejandro back to left tackle while Ronnie Stanley is out, we saw how he struggled at right tackle. Now, that is something that I do forget a lot of times just over these past couple of days because we all had so many conversations about Alejandro Villanueva. We've all had many conversations with your friends, other Ravens fans, Raiders fans, Steelers fans, because a lot of Steelers fans been coming through. They've been like, we tried to tell y'all, Ravens. We tried to tell y'all. And I love when people say that, like, we're the GM. Like, we make the decisions on who the Ravens sign or who they don't. So, anyway... We've had so many conversations with a lot of people about Alejandro Villanueva and his performance on Monday night. But uh, something that I forget is that he was a left tackle, and this is a brand new position for him. It's a brand new position for him, so he's still getting adjusted to it. Um, they did say that throughout training camp, he struggled big time there. Said he struggled there. Um, and <laughs> they always talk about in football... Oh, well, really in anything, but especially in football, everything starts in practice. Everything starts in practice. If you can do it in practice, then, hey, you should be able to do it in the real games too. But you have to be able to do it in practice. But in this case, it translated in a bad way because he did it in practice and it showed up on the field too. But now with him getting ready to go back to left tackle and you got to think, if they are really going to switch Alejandro Villanueva over to left tackle, then that means Ronnie Stanley is going to be out for a while. Because think about this. They would not just do that for one game. They wouldn't just do it for one game. Well, they actually possibly could, but it would, it would, it would make more sense uh, to, for them to do it 
if if Ronnie Stanley was going to be out for a long time. It would make sense because if you because all the, the left and right, the shuffling back and forth for one game, no. But at the same time, you got to think of who, who are your other left tackles? You ain't got none. Who are your other right tackles? Patrick McCarry at right tackle? Uh, that That's very scary. That's very scary. He filled in at center well. True. Uh, he filled in at guard okay. True. But at right tackle, that scares me. And that's no offense to uh, Patrick McCarry, but he's just not built to be a right tackle. He's more of an interior offensive lineman. So I, um, wow, this is, uh, oh, this is just great news, splendid news. Wow. And, um, re and remember, too, that Tyree Phillips, because we could have, we could have had some, like, not that we don't have hope against the Chiefs, even though you already know, I, I said, I think the Ravens are losing against the Chiefs. And again, that does not make anybody a fake fan just because they think the Ravens are going to lose against the Chiefs. It's okay to be realistic. It is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Anybody who thinks the Ravens are going to beat the Chiefs, that's fine. And like I said in plenty of videos, if the Ravens somehow beat the Chiefs, I will be more than happy to have been wrong. But I just don't expect it. I didn't expect it before this injury. I didn't expect it, especially after week one. Even going into this season, I didn't expect them to beat the Chiefs in week two. I hope that I'm wrong on all three occasions because that'll be nice, but I just, I, I don't expect it. And I just, I haven't expected it. Now, um, <sighs> wow, this is, <laughs> this is something, boy. Oh, because again, Tyree Phillips, he went down on Monday night because he would he would have ended up being the right tackle. And we could have had like, it would have been like, all right, Alejandro Villanueva back in his natural position. That could have gave us a little more encouragement. Like, oh, okay, yeah, 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 that's cool. Okay, whatever. And then Tyree Phillips could have been at right tackle. I'm like, okay, he played some right tackle last year and whatnot. Uh, okay, cool. And this is his second year. Now he's had an offseason. Okay, cool. But Tyree Phillips is gone. He's on short-term He's on short -term IR. And with him being on short-term IR, he's gone. He's out for at least three games. So that obviously includes this Chiefs game. It includes uh, who we got next up after the Chiefs. I think we got the Lions after that. And then we got the Broncos after that. So he's gone for the foreseeable future. And with Ronnie Stanley also being gone for the foreseeable future, um, this puts so much pressure, uh, so much more pressure on Lamar Jackson in that Ravens offense. Puts a lot of pressure on them. Um, it is not an impossible task. It is not an impossible feat. Uh, but it certainly got a lot more challenging with this news. Um, as of right now, um, it's 11.24 a.m. when I'm recording this. Ronnie Stanley has not been placed on injury reserve, like a short-term injury reserve. Not yet, at least. And that will also let us know the severity of this injury. Um, if it is something with the ankle, it could be a low ankle sprain, and I believe those are better to get than a high ankle sprain, because I think low ankle sprains, you can come back sooner than a high ankle sprain, I believe. I'm like 73% sure. Um, but we just, we got to see what it is. We got to see what it is and hear what it is, and, and, and I know the Ravens are, I think they're getting ready to speak to the media actually, like right now. Yeah, they actually are speaking to the media right now. Um, said that it's Sammy Watkins. And the Ravens coordinators, too. Um, I wonder if John Harbaugh is going to speak, too. Because John Harbaugh, he would, uh, he would let us know about whatever's going on with Ronnie Stanley. He wouldn't let us know straight up, but he would just give us a little something about it. And he normally starts the presses. The press, it hasn't started yet. Um, but this is just something that uh, is, is very scary as a Ravens fan. And like earlier... Before, when those guys getting hurt, like here, and people, oh, yeah, 2015. Like, nah, man, 2015, man. And some more guys got hurt, and they like, hey, 2015. Like, nah, man, ain't no 2015. And then some more guys got hurt. Now, Ronnie Stanley, with whatever's going on with him, and people still screaming 2015. And again, I, I can't argue with them. I can't, and I won't. Because uh, there are a lot of similarities, but at the same time, 2015, we didn't have a Lamar. We really didn't. And we only had Flacco for so long but, until he got out. But we didn't have a Lamar Jackson. 
So, um, as many similarities as there are with this season uh, in regards to 2015, it's very similar, of course, with a lot of significant injuries to significant players, but it's still, it's just, it's not the same, not right now. And I do not envision the Ravens having a record even close to what they had in 2015. Like I said, simply because they have Lamar Jackson. Um, If you, because I've talked to some people that have recently even still been questioning whether Lamar Jackson should get paid or not. And my response to that is, imagine this same team without a Lamar Jackson. And you let me know how successful or unsuccessful they would be. And there's your answer. That's your answer. That's it. That's the only thing you need to think about. So with Lamar Jackson, though, he if he wasn't already Superman, he's going to have to be Superman. He's going to have to be Batman. He's going to have to be Thanos. He's going to have to be all the Avengers. He is going to have to be all that and more now for this team. Now, hopefully... Hopefully, with, with Villanueva, if he does end up going to left tackle while Ronnie Stanley is out, he's obviously a lot more comfortable there. Um, but, but and, and with comfort, that can come better play. Um, so that's what we're hoping for from him. Uh, so maybe his technique as a right tackle, it just he wasn't getting it yet. And as, as he switches to left tackle, maybe it all, it'll all come back to him, hopefully. Even though <laughs> a lot of Steelers fans said, hey, he just he wasn't it. And he was at left tackle for Steelers. So, a lot of Steelers fans saying he wasn't it at left tackle already, then I don't even uh, know what to even say. Except we'll see. We'll see. So, (laughs) this is just crazy, man. I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. And, uh, yeah, this just made this game, this upcoming Sunday night, that much more interesting. Man, imagine if the Ravens did win, though. Imagine that. That would, ooh, that would be something. Cause they, they honestly, right now, they literally got every excuse in the world to why they should lose. You could just say injuries. Boom. That's all you gotta say. Injuries. But if somehow they were able to overcome all of these, all like all of these in, all of these injuries, if they were over to overcome all of that and beat the, that would be insane. It's not impossible. It's not impossible, but I don't see it happening. But I, I hope, I hope, I, but, but I also saw them demolishing the Raiders, and that didn't happen either. So, never know. Anyway, team, keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And unfortunately, just like Ronnie Stanley will be for however long a period of time, I'm out.